if you've ever had a story to tell but didn't know how to publicize it, you may be interested in this next report. There's an annual event on Long Island known as Connection Day that gives organizations an opportunity to meet and learn from media professionals, as Tanya Carvalho reports. Bringing together local media and the community, the Fair Media Council's annual Connection Day in Melville is all about building relationships. Yes, it demystifies how the media works, which is important for people to know um, if they have a business and they're trying to get a message out. But really the important thing is, you know, in order for a community to stay connected, it's your local news that does that for you. But not all organizations know how to effectively communicate with the media. That's where Connections Day comes in. Over the course of the day, there are about 20 workshops focusing on topics like how to get your story on TV, radio, and even social media. But it's very nice to hear the very best in the business tell you what they want and what they need and what they like. Being in there, you always learn more, and I think that what's great about this Connection Day is that you find every year where trends are going, how things are changing. One question everyone is asking, where exactly is the future of media heading? Communication professionals say social media. Everyone loves social media. My advice to people is study it first before you get into it. You'll make too many mistakes, you'll make too many errors. Learn about social media though, it is the cutting way. Once we can figure out a way for those, for the old school and the new school to come together and share best practices, that'll be your future of media. And media professionals say while social media is great, there's nothing better than the human connection at events like this one. We do want to get the word out. We do want to be uh, the pulse of the community, let people know what's going on. And if you tell us, we can tell others. In Melville, Tanya Carvalho, LI News Tonight.